Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Stormcrow and I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening. But today we are reviewing Call of Duty Cold War. So it released a couple weeks ago. It is a little unpolished because again, there are some stuff that are coming out to the DLC and some patches for the multiplayer and the zombies. But let's sort of go over it. If this video seems a little unscripted, my apologies. Um, I am trying to rush this as quick as possible for content, A. Eh? Um, but again, thanks again for watching and let's sort of continue on what I really think about this whole uh, game is it great is it bad and personally if you really want to get my opinion I think it is a successor to the series I don't think it's the best one in the series but let me tell you it's a lot better than Call of Duty Ghost and it's a lot better than Call of Duty Black Ops 4 um, this is a decent game all around uh, if you want to play a campaign multiplayer and zombies this is probably the best one we've gotten in a while Black Ops 3 is probably the one that was really great um, but right now, for the activeness of the community and just how decent of a game it is, you're going to want to get Black Ops Cold War, in my opinion. Um, this is sort of taking place in the 80s for the campaign, if you didn't know, around there. This is kind of where it's after Black Ops 1, because previously we had Kennedy, and I believe for the Order of Presence, it's Kennedy and Reagan. So you will be meet Reagan, uh, your covert operation team with Mason, Woods, Adler, uh, Bell, right, and then Parks. And essentially, uh, it's not as dark as Black Ops 2, but it is still fun all around for the storyline. You do have choices, so if you want to play the game a second time, you do have reason to do that, as there are three endings, I believe. Um, I've only played around seven hours, so again, take this with a grain of salt, but for the most part, I had fun with the game. There were some things that I had issue with, but I did like for the fact you could just be kind of like a nice guy or you can be like an asshole, kind of like a New Vegas. I kind of like that. It kind of reminded me of that. For example, I know in the first encounter of um, your mission, right, you're trying to get this guy who has like information. You could actually let him live or take him uh, with the CIA or you could just kill him. Like these are legitimate actions. This isn't like telltale where like your actions are just essentially the same for your choices. Like you have actual different reasons to revisit the game and you actually have different results. Um, and I think personally that was really great for the campaign. I think in a way it was more uh, consequential than Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, you had similar choices. They were a little different, but they weren't as different as Cold War if that makes sense. Um, they were pretty drastic in the choices, and now the endings are a little, eh, right? They're not that different, but you do have a reason to revisit the game for the campaign, and I think overall it was fun. Uh, the guns were, I mean, honestly, they were amazing. You had RPD, which I really appreciated. If it was a machine gun back in Black Ops 2, and we just got it. Uh, the audio is a little different from the previous uh, games, but again, they are there, and if you want to play with some old-style guns, I think even uh, the 1911 pistols back, I mean, we kind of have the whole deal here, so if you really want to revisit and play something new that's kind of like a remaster of those guns, uh, honestly, Cold War is probably your best bet. The audio may be a little different. It is fun all around, uh, again, if you want to sort of try out those guns, so just be open-minded in that, and it will sort of come to you, if that makes sense. At first, I didn't really like the game. <laughs> But then it grew on me because I was like, wait a minute, what happened there, if that makes sense? So let's sort of go over what the multiplayer, what I kind of think about it. And just in general, how does it compare with the previous predecessors? So the multiplayer, I'll just say this. Um, it's not as great as Black Ops 2. Um, it seems as if they're trying to put in Warzone maps in there, which I like it, but not to the extent of it taking over every map that we have, right? Um, so what I mean by this is there are some really great maps that are kind of like in Black Ops 2. They're tiny, they're not too uh, big, where it's just anything can happen, right? It kind of requires skill, right? I think, uh, for example, uh, was it, uh, I keep forgetting the names, but there's like the boat map in Black Ops 2, which uh, I think it's hijacked. And that was pretty small, and, and there was also Nuketown, and these maps were like anything could happen, but not like... Not to the point of like Warzone, where if you throw a grenade, like you just die instantaneous for no reason, right? Um, there is a little bit of skill when it comes to those maps. You have some maps in Cold War, but they get outshadowed because of Warzone and the amount of people who want to play them, if that makes sense. I personally, if you want to play Warzone, just go with Warzone. Don't go with the Warzone maps that are in Cold War, and that kind of ruins it, in my opinion. Um, Dirty Bomb is a map that was one of them. I felt that was just Warzone. I don't know why they put it in there, but they did. Um, but I mean, the multiplayer is fun. Um, there is some valid criticisms for this game, but for the most part, I think that the game generally does a very good job at uh, going with the previous framework of how it should have been, if that makes sense. Now, for the zombies, we have a map called Die Machine, which is Nocturne Totem, and personally, it's pretty fun. The UI is a little weird. 
Um, if you're expecting something like Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 for the UI HUD of the rounds being in the bottom right, it's not going to be that way. They're going to be in the up right position. I don't know why they did this. They messed around with the UI. I don't know why they did that, but um, again, they did it. So if you're trying to get like something like Black Ops 2, it's not going to be like that for the design elements of just the where things are on the on the screen. But it is fun all around. You can have access to knives, loadouts. Uh, it's very different, but it is fun, which I was really not expecting. I thought maybe they would obliterate this game, but for the most part, it is decent. Um, the perks can be upgraded. Your attributes of guns can be upgraded. So if you want to get like a melee bonus, you can do that. Or if you want to get, a I don't know, like an assault rifle bonus, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, and that was something really, that was really weird, but it was an interesting mix, if that makes sense. Double tap is not in there, which I really hated, um, and they do have some new perks, so that was kind of cool. I just hope that in the future DLCs, they will be opening up more perks, returning ones like maybe Tombstone, maybe Vulture Aid, uh, I don't know, what's another one? Maybe PhD Flopper, which a lot of people wanted. Um, but again, we'll have to see, because again, we are still in the early stages of Black Ops Cold War, so again... Um, time will tell if we'll really get those perks, but for now, I'll just say that eh, it doesn't seem like they had many perks in Nocturne Totem or uh, Die Machine, if you want to say. So all around, I would say the game is pretty fun if you're open-minded, if you want to get something because you don't have anything. I think Cold War is great. In fact, for example, I didn't think that in the campaign you'd be on a helicopter, so there are some fun parts of the campaign and all around everything. Um, but yeah, I, I think generally, if you want to get a game, um, or this game in particular, uh, be sure to get it when it's a Steam sale. I don't think this might be a little mean or rude, but I don't think it should be at $60. I think just for now, I think it should be 50 or 40. Um, cause again, the campaign was really short. It was shorter than black ops two. I would say the maps were very short. Um, you could complete a probably in a sitting of like 30, no, not even 30 minutes, like 20 minutes. Well, I know that some maps in black ops two were very long, uh, because they were like in accordance to the plot. But even the maps that were in accordance to the plot for uh, Black Ops uh, Cold War, they were very short. Uh, mostly, you're going to have cutscenes, which I didn't like. I really like cutscenes that are in-game. Mostly, you're getting cutscenes that are at, like animation, if that makes sense. Um, and while we did have that for Black Ops Black Ops 2, it wasn't to the point of having so many in Cold War, depending on them. So, um, Other than that, I, I think if you want to get a game, you have nothing to do, and you have some money, I think you should get it. I think it's decent. It's fun. I've been having fun with it on twitch.tv slash Mr. Stormcrow if you want to check it out. Just what I really think about it at that time. But for the most part, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. If you can, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like, comment below on what you think about it. Add to the conversation. And it also helps me to do more reviews in the future instead of doing some news. So other than that, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.